everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with the Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's right guys, we are back with this edition of Five Questions with WR. Yes. Guys, it feels like we've, it's been forever since we've done a pop-up. Yeah, it has. Uh, you know, we've been busy. We've been busy. Um, just going through a lot of stuff. Yeah, so. we're very busy. But... We're we gonna get be busy doing this. A lot. We're gonna be doing this for you guys yes. right here, right now, as we get started with the first question. Which yes. guys, you can ask questions anytime you guys feel like you guys can ask us through um, Facebook, Facebook. And here's the thing. Yeah. Before you hype that up real yeah. quick. Hype it up. Hype man. Uh, uh, if we don't get to your question, we'll get to it. Okay. Yeah. You gotta give us time. There's there's other people ahead of you. Yeah. you gotta give us time. Uh, you guys can do it on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestleRampage2, or on Twitter at WrestleRampage, or the easiest way is in the comment section yes. down below, and uh, we'll get to your question. If it hasn't already been answered before, yeah. as if, well. it, if it's already been answered, we skip it. Let's go with the first question, asked by Cody Zimmerman. Cody Zimmerman. Should WWE bring back Cyber Sunday? Actually, I enjoyed the Cyber Sunday, actually. Now, there wasn't much good about it because there's not much that's memorable about the show. Yeah. But I think it will work better now mm. with the way the internet is and technology these days. Yeah, because when they started doing it in 2004, 2005, like, the internet was there and it was pretty, you know... It, small, kind of. Well, I wouldn't say small, but it was, um, it was, it was at the stage where it was growing. Yeah. And it's like, it, like now it's at its peak. Yeah. Uh, where, uh, where, 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 like, everybody's on the internet now. Yeah, everyone, everyone uses the internet now. Fuck, you can watch, watch shit on, on the internet. Mm -hmm. back, back in 2004, 2005, you know, that was, that was when YouTube started. Yeah. You know, so, uh, I, th I think, I think it would work better now, but, yeah. uh, it, it, it depends on what kind of concepts they have for it as well. Yeah, I, I think Cyber mm. Sunday will work nowadays if if they do it because the internet's blowed up and, and, and everyone's got new technology now. You can actually do that shit. Mm. You know, goddamn. That's what I'm saying. You, the internet's taking over. Mm. Like a lot of people's like, you don't really need cable that much anymore. No, you don't. You know, the only reason I got cable is football season and basketball season. That's about it. So would you like to see uh, WWE bring back uh, Summer Sunday? Yeah, I actually would, cause I, cause you, you get to vote on what type of match you want. They want, you, of course, there's A, B, C option, but but at least there's the options for you. You know, same thing. Who do you want to see fight for a championship? I thought it was a cool concept. Pops, should WWE bring back Cyber Sunday? It really didn't matter to me because because it, it was all made up for the universe anyway. The universe, I mean. We could have our our say, but our say got pushed aside for the universe. So, well, it depends on who does the uh, vote, right? Yeah. You know, it's it, 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 to me, it's just all a bunch of bullshit. But I, I never seen anything come out of it. Are you a young bucks fan? Yeah. Let's get the shirt straight right here, right here, fucking right now for all you fucking marks. Okay? It's a fucking shirt. I sweat in the motherfucker. <laughs> I wipe my ass on the motherfucker. <laughs> Well, you don't do that that far. <laughs> it's a goddamn shirt. Live with it. <laughs> yeah, Pops don't give a fuck what shirt he wears. Uh, I, I don't I, give a fuck because they got the Have you noticed that this was in Joey's box here? It's it, 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 a, a goddamn shirt. Pops don't give a fuck what shirt he wears. It covers up my naked fucking ass. Okay. <laughs> and, I, and I was going to donate it to Goodwill. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I, I got dozens of shirts. So, uh, I have a shirt that Joe wants Pops takes it. Yeah. Uh, damn right, because why? I don't have to go out buying it. Uh, Cyber Sunday sounds like a like a cool concept for it to, for the yeah. to come back on, but um, I don't know just the way the fans are nowadays. Yeah, I just don't know if really love that's, that's the thing. It. Fans nowadays. I'm talk about some fans. There's some good fans, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, ones that actually like wrestling. You know, and don't like trash. You know? Yeah, there you go. Bingo. And you hit the nail on the head. Well, they're, well, they're right, right, right there with the vice president. Yeah, they're the cancer. <laughs> I mean, I, I think AEW's cancer. I really do. Yeah. It's a disease. 
I would inject a lethal dose of poison back on <laughs> I, I wish Vince would have done it. <laughs> and I had the AEW logo on the chair. Uh, on the chair. Like on the, the, on the, on the chair. Yeah. Uh, next question asked by Austin Williams. Austin Williams. Your thoughts on the Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels feud. All right, Austin Williams. Let's go ahead and get this out of the uh, way. Yeah, I'll let you go ahead first here. Both of them, and I'm, and I'm saying this right now, and, and everybody knows Shawn Michaels is my favorite wrestler of all time. Oh, yeah, e even the ball-headed one, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I'm going to get you that figure whenever it comes out. <laughs> yeah, I bet you will. Oh, yeah. That's well, going to be a Christmas gift for you <laughs> if I ever find the ball-headed Michaels. Um, let's go ahead and get this out of the way right now. Both of them were prima donna, yep. childish motherfuckers. Yes. And I like Brett, and, and, and like I'm not a big Shawn Michaels fan. He can work. He 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 is a great worker. Every match, top notch. Well, so was some some great Bret Hart matches too. Scott McGee. He did the best cool <laughs> he had there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, both of them were prima donnas. Both of them were um, just. Just childish. Man. Yeah, like, here's the thing. Childish. I don't want to put you over. Mm -hmm. I ain't putting you over. What the fuck is this? Is this these two fucking bitches? Or yeah. What the fuck? Wrestling's at work. Yeah. God damn. You're going to win, you're going to lose. Like, what the fuck's the big fucking deal? Like, like, Sean says he'll never put yeah. over Sean, fucking Sean, Brett. Sean, Sean's like, I ain't never putting anybody from the hearts over. Well, motherfucker, yeah, there's a lot of people that didn't want to... You didn't put Vader over. <laughs> Yeah, fucking pussy what bitch. Mm, fucking pussy what fucking fake hair bitch. <laughs> and then fucking hate your tights. Vader hit you, <laughs> hit you too goddamn hard. And fucking. And he, then Brett. Oh, I don't want to lose in Canada. Yeah, I don't want to lose <laughs> in Canada. It don't matter where the fuck you lose. Uh, I, I'll lose in Detroit, Michigan. I'll lose in. Oh, uh, you don't. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'll never yeah, lose. Yeah, y'all fucking get y'all fucking. I'll lose any fucking where. Uh, 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 Sean Michael, I ain't you. I ain't. I, 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 I ain't losing my hometown. I'm not, I'm not losing in my hometown of Kentucky. And the Booker's like, I don't give two fucks about Kentucky. So, you know, I'll be honest, that's what, that's what I'm fucking, that's fucking what a Booker. If I tell you to do something, you're going to lose, you're going to lose. I don't give a fuck what town you're in. I don't care if you're in fucking Indonesia. I don't give a fuck where you are. You're, you're going to do the JLB and, the thing is, and then the thing, thing, thing is, the writers, yeah. the people on the creative team, yeah. tried to go in try, different ways. Try different ways. How about a double DQ? Big schmoz, as Brett calls it. <laughs> you know? Kid Shamrock. Kid Shamrock. They tried every goddamn way possible to fucking do this match. It doesn't okay. work for me, brothers. Uh, <laughs> Sean and Brett pulled a Hogan card. Yeah, they did. Yeah. You know, and fucking, here's another thing. You got Sean, who's a prima donna pussy, I'm being honest. And he's, <laughs> hey, and, hey. You know, and uh, he, he he's like, you know what, I ain't, rather, I ain't putting Brett over. And then, then Brett goes, well, I ain't losing the belt here in fucking Canada. Because I'm a real champion. Even, even I'm a I Canadian hate, hero. I'm a Canadian, which he is. I ain't going to knock Brett for that. Yeah. He, there ain't much, ain't that many Canadian heroes in Canada. <laughs> I'm being honest. Wayne Gretzky. Uh, well, I'm talking about, well, you know, there ain't that many. I'm, 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 there are some good Canadian wrestlers like Owen Hart, Trish, and Kevin Owens, but I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. That's not a good belly edge. You yeah. know, but uh, Brett goes, hey, uh. Hey, uh, I won the belt, you know. I, I'm the real champion here. The pencil made you the champion, Brett. Not, <laughs> not you. Okay. And, and if you're going to, you're going to drop when I tell you to fucking drop. And by the way, you're leaving that piss ant company, WCW, where where they mooched you, where, where you mooched for three million. Where, 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 where you Brett's going to make fucking three million? And, and Sean's, and Sean's just making, because he's only making yeah, a million. Sean's making a million, and woe is me, and. What are we going to do about this horrible situation on me losing some money? <laughs> you know. Fuck it. Fuck it. And, and the me, Sunny I, Days comments. And, and Sunny Days comments. Even, even, even though, I'll, I'll go on record, I, th I think Sunny fucked both of them. She probably did. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Uh, well, uh, did yeah, you see Brett's wife back in that day? I, I, I would have fucked Sunny too. That's what I'm thinking too, yeah. yeah. Did, you say it right. Yeah, so. X-Y. X-Y. Yeah. yeah. But, uh. But here's the thing, and then, and then fucking, they had the big smiles, you know, fucking, fucking Brett gets in the sharpshooter, he's all pissed and pissed off about it, spits a loogie in fucking, uh, in Vince's face, like Angle did Hogan in TNA. <laughs> oh, God! You remember that? Yes. Uh, and then, uh, and then fucking... Dear Agony. Yeah, yeah. And then supposedly fucking Brett hit Vince, 
I believe it when I see it because it didn't look like I seen any goddamn mark on Vince's face when he walked back there. Well, well, he did have the black eye. Well, well, well it could have been makeup, you know. Put, put that shoe polish you know, on there. I'm being honest, you know, and and then and then fucking I love Vince because I love Vince because then we got heel Vince, Bret Hart. Bret Hart screwed Bret Hart. I have no sympathy whatsoever for Bret. He he should have done the right decision. And then and then he goes to WCW and has, and then and has, has one of the worst careers one of, of the all worst time. careers until until fucking 2000 to, until Goldberg kicked him in the head. <laughs> yeah, and then and then you know, to me I thought it was two fucking pussy motherfuckers that didn't want to do business that didn't want to do business and thinking this is a real goddamn fight when it's not it's a work you know and fucking and fucking they took it fucking too seriously and they and Sean hated Brett and Brett hated Sean and fucking all this shit thoughts on it pops well I, I think I, I think what, what should, should have happened is Sunday days already been there but anyway, oh, she was there. Trust me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was, it was a bed for three. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> well, I, I don't doubt about it. Uh, you know, you, you, when you, when you're in a business, mm -hmm. you got, you, you got to do the protocol of what the business is. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, all right, pups. If you're leaving a company, you're going to do the. I, I'm. I, you know, way if, out. if I, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna leave the company. Yeah, I, I don't give a fuck where I'm dropping the bell at. Just, just let me fucking go. Cause I'm making. I'll drop this motherfucker in Canada. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. be, uh, be, because I'm going over there where I can make fucking three million. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's I mean that's money. yeah. That, a, a typical WCW. They didn't capitalize on that. Yeah. <laughs> typical WCW. Yeah. Fuck. I would have brought. I would have brought Brent's next day on fucking Nitro. That was one of the worst decisions they ever fucking did. Yeah. Was signing Bret Hart and did yeah. nothing sure with did. him. A great talent, but they never used it. They, they fucking waited what a couple of year a uh, year later. A year later from the yeah. Year later. I'm, I'm like, look, I, I would have him on night you know, the next day. You, know, you, you you hear a lot of this shit too, you know, and it, it, even back in the day. But back in the day, it's a lot different from what it was then. You know, yeah, there's some motherfucker say I ain't getting this guy over. The whole goddamn locker room's gonna be the fuck out of you because we need this right here guy to go to go to the top, or we ain't gonna eat, motherfucker. I agree with that. Yeah. Just, just people not wanting to do business and yeah. and, 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 th and thinking they're real and they're yeah. not. No, they're not. Yeah. Let's go with the next question. Asked by Joe Lawn. Joe, mow the lawn, baby. I, 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 I got to mow that lawn. That yeah. lawn's getting outrageous. But did you guys think Test was a good worker? All right, Joe Lawn. I thought Test was underrated. Very underrated. And here's the thing: when people's like, "Oh, Test was a mid Carter." I agreed. I agreed to a point. Yeah. But uh. But Test was actually a pretty decent worker. I thought uh, he had the size, he had the look. Uh, former I, former tag team champion, yeah, former, former tag intercontinental team, champion, yeah, European champion. Fucking, and I'm like, and he has. I don't know why Vince or anyone didn't give him a chance because he had the look, he had the size, and he was pretty good in the ring. Maybe it's because Mike Test, skills. Maybe Test couldn't cut a good promo. Maybe. I mean, he cut. He, he, he could. He, he, he could get by. by. He could get by. He could cut a decent promo. Mm -hmm. And his work rate was really good for a tall guy like Tess, because I, I thought Tess was really talented. And fucking, I don't He's know. a guy I always chose on, like, SmackDown, yeah. uh, like, Shut Your Mouth, yeah. or SmackDown, uh, yeah. Here Comes Kirk the Pain, Pain. Yeah, and I like Tess, and, and I don't know why, he, like, he didn't get a chance, you know? Great song, too. Yeah, great song, too. <laughs> the old one. This is, this is Tess. Yeah, and, and fucking, I don't know why he didn't get a shot, but, uh. And I think Tess is very underrated. When he came in ECW, he looked jacked. I thought I oh, thought he was going to get a big push. <laughs> but he loses to Bobby Lashley at the Royal Rumble. Please, <laughs> I went with Tess that day. Go go watch the 2007 uh, yeah. retrospective DVD yeah. review we did. We did every pay review from yep. 2007. So go but you guys go I, watch that. I like Tess. Very uh, underrated. Pops Tess. Like nah, I really didn't care that much for him. Really uh, it, 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 it's not because of personal, you know, it, it, it was just because I, I really don't think, you know, that they was going to push him anyway because I don't, well, I didn't look at him as that championship material. Yeah, you didn't? I know. Yeah, what I, about Midcard? Uh, Midcard, now, that, now, you know, I, I think I think he's, he would have stayed like the other Midcards, you know, with ain't going to title yet. Mm -hmm. that, that's about as far as I think he would have, he would have gone and well, and, and being a tag team champion, mm -hmm. but still, yet you know that's not very stellar either. Yeah. So um, I mean, I've, I've always liked Tess. Yeah. Uh, but uh, once again, he never really got to that like 
main push. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know, because, like, they, like, they would give him, like, a semi-push, and then, like, like, like he won the Immunity Battle Royal at, yeah. at Survivor Series 2001. Could get fired for a year. I would have done something, yeah. you know, to a point where, like, try to make me a big star at that point. Um, and hell, an ECW was getting a pretty good, decent push. He was in the title contention. Yeah, and uh, so I always thought he had some pretty good, you know, like, I, I like Test. Yeah. I, I did. Uh, but, but and then, of course, I the, felt sorry for Tess working with Steiner in 03. In 03 over, over, over hot ass Stacey Keebler. Yeah. Well, uh, They're fighting over uh, Stacey uh, Keebler. Uh, I, I, uh, that right there is a point that I did feel sorry for Tess. I, I, I felt sorry for fucking Triple H. You know, that right there. Uh, you know, fucking uh, 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 Tess started fucking uh, mistreating fucking Stacey. Steiner jumps in at her fucking yeah. aid. And then. And then they battle for a few pay per views, and then they team up, yeah. and, then, and then they both, yeah, <laughs> then they both start start disrespecting Stacey. I'm like, oh, well, that's a great, yeah, yeah. That's right a, there. That's a great thing for you that to happen to you. All right then. Uh, but oh, Stacey Keeper. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I always like Test, and uh, I, I I thought he had a good upside, but I, for some odd reason, they just never really gave him a. Uh, a fair shot, and then, and then, unfortunately, you know, he passes away as well. Yeah, uh, so very, you, uh, yeah. very young age for for. But you, but you got to look at it too. I mean, how many how, how many people that, that even to this day that that they give a push, but it's not a very big push. There you go. Next question asked by T. N. Couponer, the king of deals, the deal maker, the deal maker himself. Go check out T. N. Couponer's channel. Right here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Tell them Wrestling Rampage sent you. As we get into this question. Who would win in their prime? And we're talking about Dusty Rhodes prime. Okay. You remember WCW? Oh, prime, yeah. Uh, we Is have, this going to be the moon match of the week? <laughs> oh, oh, I think so. Uh, it, we got Tully Blanchard versus his tag team partner, Arn Anderson. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it, Arn Anderson. Okay. In my opinion. Like Double Tully, A? Yeah. Tully's okay, but if I had to go work rate, he's all right. Like, he can get by, but mm -hmm. if you want to go great work rate and, and fucking great worker is Arn Anderson. I got to go Arn Anderson. Agreed. I agree. Uh, Telly, for, 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 you know, it, it, Telly has to be in there with somebody, you know, that's, that I think has to push him. And uh, no, nobody nobody could do it like Dusty Rhodes pushed him. Magnum T A. Magnum T A. Like he had, until he had good matches, but if I had to choose the best one, yeah. it's Arn Anderson. Yeah. He, uh, he had the overall work rate. Yeah. Uh, Marty Lundy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Uh, to me, uh, uh, Arn Anderson could work with anybody. Yeah. Anybody. Now, now people's like, oh, Arn Anderson has some shitty matches. Well, if he's in the ring with somebody, it yeah. ain't Arn's fault. Yeah. Uh, Renegade. You know how, how the fuck can you get him over? You know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not knocking him. I'm just saying, you know. Our, and yeah, our, yeah. Our he had a great match with Ric Flair. Yeah. At Fall Brawl. Yeah, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, people's like, oh, Arn Anderson couldn't carry some people. Well, it's not just Arn Anderson. Like, both these guys are, like, star caliber. Yeah. When you think about it. Because yeah. Tully Blanchard, I, I like Tully Blanchard. Oh, yeah, I like Tully Blanchard, he, too. He can cut a good promo. He can have good matches. A great fucking uh, deal. Great heel, Arn Anderson. Arn and now this is the thing, I, I I can't really I can't really see Tully as a as as a good guy. Arn I can see as a good guy at some point. Yeah. And Arn, great promos, can deliver in the room. Very underrated. Very underrated for for because because you know Arn and Arn Anderson got treated <clears throat> like shit in WCW. Agreed. And he was uh, a good fucking worker. And then, of course, what we're all missing, one of the best spine busters in the business. Oh, he, he has the best spine buster. <laughs> People's like, oh, Triple H, I say that's an Arn Anderson spine buster. You, oh, yeah. You, you know, they could never, in my opinion, turn Kelly a good guy. Mm. They, it, it would never happen. It, 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 it never did in his career happen. Yeah. Because they couldn't, they couldn't do that right there. So, I would also have to go with Arn Anderson as well. Yeah. No doubt. Um, no, no disrespect to Telly. I love Telly. <laughs> I mean, nobody can make a bad guy like Telly. <laughs> Agreed on that. 
Let's go with the last question, also asked by T and Q. <clears throat> All right. You must. You must pick one. Okay. Oh God. All right. Now it's not a fuck Mary kill. This is. Thank this God is for shot. that. Usually yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Usually it is. Uh, you have to pick one. You can F five Brock Lesnar. Okay. You could super kick a young buck. Okay. Like Pops t shirt. Okay. Super kick t shirt. <laughs> Hell. You people could kick super kick papers out of somebody's hand, damn you. And, or you could hit a field goal on Joey Ryan. Okay. I already know mine. Right off the bat. Uh can I go ahead and go first? Go ahead. Brock Lesnar's out of the equation. <laughs> Even though I hate his guts, there's two other people on this list I hate more. Alright. The Young Bucks. I hate the super kick because it's overused and it's the worst finisher of all time in my opinion now because they overuse it Yeah. and they kind of watered it down. Anyone time. can kick out of a super kick nowadays. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, I hate the Young Bucks too because they're high Yugans. You know, yeah. <laughs> and, and I hate that shit. You'll take the bump too? Uh, no. <laughs> and I, I hate that shit. Like, yeah. that's not wrestling. If no. it was like, that's entertainment. Not in my opinion. Not, 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 not in my opinion. It ain't just trash. That's trash. That, that's that's fucking exposing wrestling and fucking you, making it make wrestling even worse. Mm. And, uh, so, who, so who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Joey Ryan. <laughs> you gonna kick him right in the dick? Oh, uh, Joey Ryan's Joey Ryan's another cancer in the wrestling business. He's up there with the Young Bucks and and Ramen Noodle Hero Mega and and all these other guys. Goddamn, goddamn Japanese guy that does the goddamn fucking baby oil like he's a poorly dressed male stripper and takes that and gets out of the fucking hold. And you got fucking Orange Cassie with his hands in his pockets, trying to feel where his needle dick is, you know. Pops! But I have to go with Joey Ryan. Uh, well, let's, go? Let, let me just set this right here straight here. Uh, Brock Lesnar, he's a, he, 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 I, uh, I don't know why Vince man liked him. He needed something to be gone a long time ago. But anyway, the motherfucker's back and sucked. So you're giving him a pass, huh? Yeah, I've got to give that motherfucker a pass because you might as well. Uh, the Young Bucks. That hyena bullshit. If you ain't gonna touch me, fucker, I ain't selling it to your goddamn fucking ass. Get it? If, I'm, if I was a wrestler and some motherfucker did that catch me, I'd be like, what the fuck you doing? Hit me or something. Goddamn. Make it look real, bitch. And as far as Ryan, that goddamn stupid goddamn uh, trying to be a porn star motherfucker. She fucking mustache like he's a, uh, like, like, he, like he was a 70 fucking porn star. It ain't working either, motherfucker. Like I told you before, if I had a match with you, if I was a wrestler and had a match with you, the only goddamn thing you'd be saying is, oh, that'd be it. So I, so I guess you're going to choose I'd kick, I'd kick that motherfucker for a field goal, baby. <laughs> with black socks. <laughs> black socks, motherfucker, but I have a chance I had shoes on, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't like you at all. Uh, I would also have to go with uh, goal on Joey Ryan. Uh, cause, uh, you probably feel the same way as I do on the Young uh, Bucks. Uh, young Bucks, uh, they just pretty much overexposed everything, so fuck them. And Brock Lesnar. Uh, I hate him, but I'm be bad. honest with you, I don't think I can lift his ass yeah. to do a five anyway. So, might as well do the thing I, I can do the best. You know, uh, right there. You know, back back in the day, you know, people actually believed because, because wrestlers made them believe. You know, when a person got hurt, they believed they were hurt. That's what I'm saying. It's, These type guys don't make wrestling believable. It makes it fun. And it is. That's that, 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 why wrestling's it. in bad shape. Yeah. And, and people's like, oh, wrestling's in the greatest shape it's been. Where the fuck? What the fuck are you watching? Are you? What are you watching? Like, I'm not, I, I'm not yeah. watching. No, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and that's the reason why. You know, the people's like, oh, this is this is the best year in wrestling. That's the when I, hear, when I see that shit. When I say, oh, wrestling's as big as it's ever been. Well, so was hotcakes back in the day. Yeah, they were talking about fucking, the fucking, uh, like, like, like people that watched NXT and watched AEW was like fucking, was it like over like two, like two point, like three million or whatever? Yeah. Don't you don't realize back in the fucking, you know, fucking the mid 80s, they, they had <laughs> way more than that? They had millions. Yeah. Of motherfuckers watching fucking, uh, fucking. And here's shows. the thing. One, people don't watch cable that much anymore. No. You got internet, and, and people that do watch cable just use it for fucking sports. That's what you do. Uh, I'm, I'm being honest. But that's it for this edition of Five Questions with WR. Don't forget to uh, put your guys' questions uh, yeah. down below so we can keep going with this. Uh, also, go subscribe to our good friend, 
Crazy Hicks picks. His com uh, his uh, his channel will be in the comments. Well, all in the uh, description below. Go hit his subscribe. Uh, go subscribe to his channel. Does some great work on his channel. Yeah. A uh, good friend of ours. Yes, he is. So go 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 support his channel as well. And guys like reselling and all that good stuff. Go uh, go hit his channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button. And guys, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Wrestling Rampage 2. Follow us on Twitter at Russell Rampage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button because, Tommy, we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better, baby. See ya!